Hi there. My favorite brand of vintage cast iron pans is probably Birmingham Stove and Range. I enjoy using these pans because not only are they among the best quality cast iron pans ever made in the US, but there's a sense of history and mystery surrounding this company. BSNR went out of business in the early 1990s and the company's legacy seems to have been largely forgotten. But over just the past few years, cast iron has had a big surge in popularity and many people are discovering just how fun it is to use and collect cast iron. And thanks in large part to the internet, a lot of research has been done into the history of vintage cast iron pans. And this has given an, a new following to these vintage pans from Birmingham Stove and Range. Another YouTube channel has been talking about the history of BSR cookware, so I thought I'd take a closer look at two special pieces from the early history of this company. In your search for vintage cast iron, it's not too difficult to come across a pan with markings like this. This is a pan from Birmingham Stove and Range's Red Mountain series, which they named after the Red Mountain area of Alabama. BSR produced pans with this design for nearly 40 years, and they can be found nearly everywhere. However, you may find yourself coming across a BSR Red Mountain pan where the markings look a little unusual. These markings look like they were etched onto the pan by hand, and because of this, collectors refer to these as handwritten skillets. It's believed these were the very first generation of pans from BSR, produced during the 1930s or possibly even earlier. The hand-etched molds for making these pans may have been produced before the size numbers were standardized and permanently added to the design of the mold. Collectors have also spotted a set of three Red Mountain pans that are a little bit different from their other pans. Credit for this discovery can be given to a Facebook group, especially for collectors of BSR pans. They researched the history of these pans and gave them the name of the S series because these pans were marked with an S. They're slightly smaller than standard BSR pans of this size and it's been said that BSR made this set of pans especially to compete with another company. They made these pans to fit the same size as the competition. And because of this tiny difference, the S series is starting to become a collector's item because it's different and somewhat rare. So if you're the owner of one of these handwritten BSR pans, you have a special piece of history in your possession. However, this doesn't mean you should hang it on the wall or put it in a display case. The best thing to do with special pans like this is to use them proudly. So let's use these handwritten BSR pans and make breakfast using homemade sausage. You'll be amazed to see how easy it is to make homemade sausage. I enjoy using a cast iron meat grinder and this easily produces enough ground pork to make our sausage and have plenty of ground pork left over for use in other dishes. All you need to do is mix in the right spices with ground pork and you have a sausage that's far superior than what they sell at the supermarket. This is a very simple and basic breakfast sausage which uses salt, pepper, thyme, a little ground mustard, and sage. You can use a spice grinder to blind the spices, though I like using an old-fashioned mortar and pestle. Then all we do is mix the spices in with the ground pork and we have freshly made breakfast sausage. We simply shape the sausage into patties and we're ready to start frying. You can stuff the sausage into sausage casings if you want, but it's a lot easier to just fry them in exactly the same way as making hamburgers. And we're ready to bring out our vintage BSR cast iron skillets. We preheat the cast iron pans at medium heat for about 10 minutes to get them hot enough to sear these patties. And we fry them in the hot pan, flipping them about every minute. Of course, this is ground pork, so we can't have any pink at the center of the meat. And we make sure to cook these patties to 165 degrees Fahrenheit.
All we need to do is fry them at medium heat so the inside is thoroughly cooked while a good crust forms on the outside. This will take about 10 minutes. Then, we toast up some English muffins in the pan grease. Meanwhile, we can use an S-series BSR skillet to fry up some eggs. Even though these pans are nearly a hundred years old, they can still make fried eggs with no difficulty at all. And of course, with no sticking either. One of the most common questions on Facebook's Cast Iron Cooking Group is how to cook eggs without sticking. The answer is simple. Cook them low and slow and not too hot. And now we're ready to serve some sausage and egg muffins made with freshly made sausage and cooked in two vintage cast iron skillets. And that's the best thing to do with these vintage pans from Birmingham Stove and Range or indeed any other cast iron pans. Don't just keep them in storage with other antiques. Go ahead and use them, and you'll see what a joy it is to know that not only are you cooking in cast iron, but you're also cooking in a piece of American history. And thanks to the internet, this piece of history has been rediscovered, and users of these pans are making sure it will never be forgotten. Thank you for watching.